sometimes on this trail they tell you how hard the water sources are to find. But good for the English. No shortage. Pretty way to start the morning. We're on the move. We just left Low Gap. And they promised some sun, maybe, sort of. Nice. Maybe. <laughs> guys, Grandma Shorty. So look down here at the ground and you will notice that it looks like someone was digging in here. I'm going to tell you that it wasn't a bear. It's something that we don't have in Massachusetts that runs around wild. You can see these holes all along. And it's done by the animal's nose. Can you figure out what animal it is? Yeah, you see this, see this hole right here? And we've been walking about a mile through this where it looks like somebody just took a, a rake and a hoe and started just lifting it all up. All in there. And it wasn't done by people. It was done by an animal's nose. And just as we arrived at the summit of Blue Mountain, 4,025 feet, an amazing thing happened. Yep. You guessed it, the sun came out. We were planning to stay here at Blue Mountain Shelter for the night, but that's when our plans changed. It seems that Archangel Gabriel was making arrangements for a shuttle driver to meet us at Unicoi Gap. And if we hopped in with him and his friend, we'd be able to shoot into Hiawassee for a quick night of rest, some hot food, and some resupply. The only problem was we had to make a quick descent of about a thousand feet and we had to do it fast. It was just about here as we were making our descent down towards Unicoi Gap trying to make our way through the Hurricane Irma damage that I am proud to say that I made our very first of the trail fall. That's right, it was a beauty. A full complete down by contact fall. Now I thought it had really good artistic elements. I really think I stuck the landing. Unfortunately, the French judge disagreed. Oh well, better luck next time. I lead one to nothing. again were made by the volunteers that come and do trail magic and they put these rocks in place.
And there as we crossed the highway and into the parking lot, waiting for us was the shuttle driver, the further shuttle Appalachian service who we've gotten to know and think do a great job. They drove us into Hiawassee. It was gonna be a quick turnaround. We'd get in in the afternoon, we'd be able to check into a hotel, shower, get some resupply, get a good night's sleep in a bed, get a good meal, and then head back out in the morning. We ended up doing about 10 miles that day, so it really wasn't a Nero, a day that you do slow mileage. It was a full day of hiking, but one that ended on a pretty positive note, as you can see.